It's been like 20 minutes and we are down $103. Welcome to the Robin Hood Small Account Challenge. This will be our first week back in the stock market. And our goal is to get 2,500 or better in our account so that we can trade off a margin. Currently, we have a little bit over $2,100 in that account. And we'll be trading with a little over $1,000 um, right after I sell my 112 shares of SQQ. Oh. And I forgot to mention that we're in the middle of a market correction. Things are really tense because of government mandates and overseas affairs. And overall, I'm just really not over that last big loss that we took. So this is a pretty risky time to be trading. So today's the first day. Hopefully everything goes as planned. Let me, let's get into it. So today did not go as planned at all. None of my iron condors, none of my puts went through. I tried to put iron condors on Robinhood, CVS, Peloton, AMD, and then a couple of other stocks, but no luck. And it's been almost eight hours of me like adjusting, readjusting, trying to like figure out different ways to put in um, my iron condors and my credit spreads. And it's just not going through. So I think I'm just go throw in the towel, especially because our um our Robin Hood balance just went down by 1.5%. So I think that's a sign we need to get out for today. I've been watching the stock market all morning. And nothing is happening, nothing is changing. Shortly after I made this video, all of my positions that I had put in on Monday went through, but we were either breaking even or we were slightly at a loss. So nothing major actually happened today. It's a little after 10 and we are up 10%. So I'm so excited. Like we are almost at $2,090 overnight. So I'm going to try to sell all of these positions and then hopefully we can be done um, for the week because there are a couple articles I was talking about how Friday will be a really bad market to trade in. So Hopefully we don't get stuck in it. It's Wednesday after hours and I'm definitely a little bummed. So today started out amazing. I was at over $2,200. And then most of my positions would not close. That is the one thing about using the iron condor. It is so hard to get rid of. It's hard to get, it's hard to get rid of. And so most of my iron condors wouldn't sell. Um, my Robin Hood iron condor wouldn't sell. Um, my spy iron condor that expired today would not sell. And as luck would have it, sky, I mean spy, spy skyrocketed. And so I lost out on like $18 worth of profit. I was up over $20 worth of profit in that one um, iron condor. And then I just couldn't sell it. Um, but luckily we made $4 worth of profit in SPY, which is better than taking a loss, but we are not at $2,200 anymore. So the journey continues. All right, y'all, so I just came back from the doctor. I took a quick look at my Robin Hood account. All of our positions are closed for this week and we are green on the week. So we are up about a little over $100. Well, it is Friday. It is hour and a half until market close. And I was looking at SPY and SPY has gone down so much. 
And I know I probably shouldn't, but I really want to put a call on Spy to see if we could just make some quick money because that could really put us up towards our goal. Everything in me is telling me not to do it. But something else in me is telling me if we do it, we could have met our goal in the second week, the first, the second week. So, y'all, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. So, it's $213 for one call. I think I'm going to do it. A few moments later. Oh my God, y'all. It's been like... 30 minutes and we are currently down a hundred and thirteen dollars what the f between spot and an amd put i put on yesterday it's not looking good for us right now so i don't know this is either gonna be epic on monday or we have a long journey ahead of us so check in with me next week to see what happens. Bye.